hello welcome back to my channel and if you can see from the title of this video and also from this thumbnail sort of slash cover shot right here i do finally have some a5 binders to use and i'm so excited so i did get these two new binders so i have this one which i bought from amazon and then this one is from mochi things i believe so i obviously have used amazon a lot but i've never used mochi things before and i really like that website so i'll link it down below so I bought the binder and then I bought some sleeves. So I think these are the whole ones. And then these are two pockets and then these are another set of four pockets. So I do have these as well, also from Mochi Things. And then I bought these on Amazon as well. These are board game sleeves. I found this in someone's video, I'll link them. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I did get these. So these are from Amazon and they are the 46 by 87 so definitely excited to try these out and then i do have these so i used these before this is from a game shop sort of here in my city i'll try to find if they have an online store but these are just oh there's hair in it that's so cute <laughs> um these are thinner than the other ones but i really like these as well so i might go back and buy more this is my first time buying from that store so i'll try to link that if they have anything so those are the supplies i'm using today and then i'll sort of definitely update this one or like put a collection in here this one i have a few collections that i want to go in here so i have two right now but then two that i want to work on so i'll also set up this one but we can start with this one first i think we'll see i'm not sure which one i'm going to start with but definitely going to be putting stuff away in both of them today which i'm really excited about so let's begin so before we get started, I kind of want to like show, because I have a few other ones, but these are the new ones I got. So the first one I have is my BTS one. This is one that I got at a pop-up store here when they had the Vegas show and they had events here too, like the pop-up store. So this is what this one looks like. I like this one a lot, but one of the downsides is that it doesn't have like extra pages you can put in, but I think that the page quality is still really nice. So I do recommend this binder for more like smaller collections that won't grow as much and i still think it's super cute so i have that one this one from nct's daikon when you got all of like the photo cards so i've been using this so i'll show this real quick i haven't showed this on camera yet but i sort of put my non-album cards in here for nct dream and wavy so i have jenos which is so cute and then i have jamin's some of his cards and then this is both their cards from Glitch Mode, the Digipacks, and then the Photo Book um, SM Town cards, or SM Global Shop, I believe. And then here is my Yang Yang and some Wavy. And then I have one little Dream sticker on the back. But there was more pages, but I used it for this binder. So I took some of the pages out and put it in this one for the sake of the video. But... Yeah, so I do really like this one a lot as well. And this is what really made me want to start getting a lot more because I really love how these pages look. They're so cute, especially this page. So that is what I'll be doing today. But these are just some of the other ones that I have that I just wanted to show real quick. So I think we're gonna start with this one first and then we'll do the other one. Okay, so I have my girl group binder. Let me zoom out a little bit. And I'm gonna be putting some girl groups in here. So this is not gonna be super organized, but I will be putting Purple Kiss in here, as well as, not Itzy, as well as, if I can find them, Kepler. And then there are two other girl groups that I really want to collect. One being Ive and the other one being La Seraphim. So I do wanna potentially put them in here as well. So I definitely think I'm gonna be collecting Ive and then the seraphim i'm still debating on but i've will go in here as well and then i think that's it the rest are going to stay in here i was going to put espa in here but i like the layout a lot better in this binder same with itzy i like how itzy looks in a bigger binder so i will be moving purple kiss and kepler in here today So here's what we have. So I have Purple Kiss and then Kepler. And I do also have some extra cards or cards that I was gonna put in a sorting photo cards video, but I decided I'm just gonna use them for this video as well. So those will go in too. Okay. 
Okay, so their debut cards are out. These I have to figure out what to do with. So for now, I'm just gonna put them to the side and then I'm gonna take these out. And I'm gonna add these cards to I can grab them. So I think all of these are from this era. Yes, okay. So all of this era is done. So these, and then there are debut cards. So we'll start with these first. As mentioned, I did get this binder off of Amazon. It was actually really cheap. It's advertised as a planner, but I've seen a lot of people use them as photo card binders, so I decided to do the same and I got this purple one. I think I'm going to buy one more as well. I really like these pockets too, they can fit some bigger inclusions. These pages, as mentioned, I did get them from the NCT binder because there was a lot in there. I think these sort of are the same as these. I'm pretty sure they're very similar. And then the back looks like this, so you can add more stuff in here too. So let's start. So for these, I'm going to use the rest of these ones. So let me just sleeve these real quick. Okay, so I just sleeved all of these. Normally, I don't sleeve Purple Kisses cards. But because they're going in here, I sort of want to sleeve them just in case for now. I can always unsleeve them if I feel like it's necessary. But I mean, for now, I want to just to sleeve them. So I'm going to start with these. I didn't sleeve these just because I sort of want to figure out how I want to lay these out first because there are seven members instead of the two members that I collect. So I'm going to start with this page first. And I think what I'm going to do is do like front and back. So I'll do it like in order and then three on the back. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let me sleeve them like that. So what I did was sleeve these. So I have them like front and back like this for some of the members and I'm gonna just put them in real quick. Okay, so like that. So that is cute, so it'll look like that. This will be blank um, because there's only seven members, but that is fine. And then we have this set to do, so let me sleeve these as well, and I'll do the same thing I did for these. Cute, so there we go, and then we have the second set. So I might maybe put like a Maybe I'll get like a pre-order card of one of June and then one of Ide to like fill up the spots or I might just keep it blank because I mean I don't really mind but I wanted to do it this way at least because then if I kept it blank here I feel like it would look a little weirder but at least here is a little I don't know I like it front to back but maybe I'll get a card or like a filler card to put in these spots but I still think it's super cute for the seven members. And then we have these cards. So this is one era, and then this is another era. So let's do the purple backs and then the pink backs. So I'll do the purple because this is purple. Ooh. So I'll put like that. That looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I love these in the A4 binder. Okay, then we have this set. So the pink set, I'll do it like that. Cute, I'm loving this. So we have that set. Are they all, yeah, they're the same way. Very nice. Okay, then we have a completed album set for, I'm gonna butcher this, Miam Miam. I think I still am not the best at pronouncing that, but we have these. So I'll do the purple ones first. Yeah, I'll do the purple ones first. No, I think I'm gonna do these ones first actually. Okay, 
because I really like these card sets especially this eBay card it's so cute I'll put these ones here and then these ones here okay so cute and then we have this one which I love these two June cards. Oh, so cute. Like these whole photo card sets are really nice. So this one is that. So do these ones and then these ones. Nice. All right. So let's do a quick flip through of Purple Kiss. So we have their debut album. And then their second mini. And then the third mini. And then I still have to get the nerdy album. I don't have that just yet. But yeah, cute. Okay, so that is Purple Kiss. I think it looks so adorable. I might do front and back. I don't know if I really want to. Like, mm, I don't know. I don't think I want to do front and back. I think I like it like this. So I'll keep it like this for now. And then we can do Kepler. So for Kepler, I don't have any dividers that fit just yet, so I have to get those. But let me get the cards for Kepler. Kepler cards that I have already. And then I do have this one. And then I did buy this other version card. It's just on the way. So for now, I have these for their debut album. So what I think I'm going to do is this is my favorite of the sets. So I'm going to put this one here once I get the other one. And then these two, and then I'm going to put these two on the back, maybe. I think that's what ooh, I want to do. So I don't think I have that many sleeves left. So I definitely have to buy more. I only have this many. So let me sleeve these real quick. Okay, I have two left, but I'm going to put them like this. So I put this card here, and then these are going to go on the back. So... Now this one, this one I'm still, like I said, is on the way. And then this one, and then this one. So once I get that other card, it will be these two on the back here. I think I want to do that. I might actually move this one over like this. Yeah, I like that better. For now, I just have this one card. I do have trades still up if anyone wants to trade, but this card is so cute. So I will sleeve this and then just put it here for now. I have to make fillers for this page or for this album as well. And then, yeah, so maybe Purple Kiss and Kepler will only fit in here. I might try to squeeze uh, La Seraphim if, if I collect them because there's only four cards for them currently. But I would like to also put Ivan here, so we'll see. But yeah, that is what this binder looks like, especially because Purple Kiss did just have a comeback too. So I feel like this is going to fill up kind of quickly with Purple Kiss and Kepler. But yes, this is what it looks like. I'm so excited. It's so pretty. I think it looks super nice. These sleeves sort of fall out because they're tinier, but... And then I will put a divider once I get some. And then we have Kepler. And that is all I have for Kepler right now. I will make fillers to probably my next video. Um, but yeah, so super cute. I'm obsessed. I love it. If anyone has any like ideas on where to get binder covers, or like not binder covers, but what's it called? Um, like cover pages. Or like how you make them. I probably have to look up a tutorial on how to make them. But I definitely want to make those as well. I also want to try this out. Let me grab them real quick. Because I want to look at these. And see if I can fit these somewhere. I have four pockets and the two pockets. And these definitely are not going to fit in the two pockets. But I do have some one page. But do I want to put them in here? Maybe not. So I have to figure out what I want to do with these because I really want to put these in here, but I don't think they'll sort of fit nicely. So should I just put them in like the pockets? 
I'll figure these out later, but I wanted to see. I mean, I could always put them in a one pocket, like front and back, but there would be a lot of room left over, so I might have to put some white papers, but I'm not gonna worry about these just yet. I'll do that later. But that was it for this first binder. Let's go on to the second binder because that is going to take me quite some time. So next we have the infamous Beyond D binder. And like I mentioned, I did get this from Mochi Things. It was the first time I used that website and I really do like it a lot. Shipping wasn't that expensive either. The only thing is that when it arrived to me, the pages sort of like were, what's the word for it? Like not worn, but they sort of were warped. So you can see they're sort of like curved like that. So that's the only complaint, but I mean, it's not horrible. Like they look fine. So yeah, that's the only thing that I wasn't the hugest fan of, but I really like the binder quality a lot. I think it's nice and sturdy. And then I've seen some people use these and some people not use these. I haven't fully decided yet what I want to do with it because I'm scared that like these might rub up against the pages, like the backs, like these little things. So for now, I'm going to take it out and then I will see how I feel. But just for putting photo cards away, I think it'll be easier if I have them out. So I will do that real quick. So they're easy to put back into. And then this was here. I'm not really sure what this is for. I think it could be for actually like this spot. Um, so yeah, I'll keep that too, just in case. But for this binder, I will be putting in one of my... I'm so sorry for so many of the angle changes. My uh, tripod just fell over and I keep like stopping because I keep getting interrupted. So I do apologize for that. But I'll be putting in here one of my NCT collections. So I'm super excited about that. So let me zoom out a little bit. So I've decided to put my Jamin and Jeno collection in here. So... I do have quite a lot. I do collect all of their Korean album cards. So let me take all of these out. So it's going to be a long process. I'm gonna keep these in here for now, but I will try to put them in this binder. But yes, yeah, so let me get those pages out and look how much room. I have a lot more room in here now too, which is exciting because I feel like this definitely is going to grow with um, 127 and then full groups and then wavy as well so I do have more room in here now which I really like I do have some full sets that I'm gonna keep full sets except taking out Jeno and Jamin's I'll sort of redo the OT7 pages but yeah I do have all of these to take out so I'm gonna take them out and then sleeve them in these new sleeves so I will see how I like these I'm gonna do that off camera because I feel like it'd be way too long so let me sleeve these and then we can begin Okay, that took forever and I used all of these sleeves, but I finally sleeved all of them and I really like these sleeves a lot and I definitely will be rebuying them. Um, I did run out. I only had one that I still needed, so I used one of them, one of like the last ones from this pack for it. So I actually had quite enough, so that was nice. So here are all of the cards. And then here are all of the extra Dragon Shield and Ultra Pro like big sleeves that I have now. So I don't have to buy more of these, which is nice, but I do have to buy more of the smaller ones. So I will work on making a cover and stuff later. And then I think, yeah, so here are the full pages. I'm going to take these out for now because I don't need them just yet. And then I have these. So I do have the extra pack just in case. I don't know if I'll need them just yet, but... For now, I'm not going to put them in. So I do have two stacks to pull from, so I'm sort of going to see how I want to do this. So I have Jeno's and Jamin's. So Jeno was, or Jamin was not in these photo cards, and so I'm just going to put these on top first. Like so. And then we have we go up, I believe. So I'll put these ones here. Okay, cute, cute. I'm not gonna double sleeve these ones. I don't know if these have the, no, these are only one-sided. For the crew cards, I don't have Jamin's just yet, 
but I have this one and that's not gonna fit, so I'm just gonna put that there for now, because I need that. And then I'm gonna do one of these, because I have their Kino cards. I have, where is it? Yeah, okay, I have Jamin's. So I think I'm gonna put this set. No, I'll do this one. Yeah, that is this set, okay. I'm trying to figure out how I wanna do this. These ones here. And then the Kinos will go down here. These ones. No. Yes. Yes. I think I want to switch these ones. I'm just being picky, but I want to switch these ones. There we go. And then these ones up here. Cute. Okay. Then we have Reload. There we go, okay. All right, and then I do have, um, Jamin's Kino on the way, but I don't have a filler for that, so I'll leave that blank for now. And then I'll do the hot sauce cafe cards. And then we'll start the other hot sauce cards. So these are the SM Global Shop cards, so those will go last. And then I do have their three photo book cards. These binders move around quite easily, so I'm trying to like center it more, but all right, so I have yellow, green, and then I think these are blue. Okay, so I'm gonna do these with these because those look more similar, and I'll put these ones here. SM ones because these ones look pretty similar. All right, nice. So we have those, and then we have hot sauce, the jewel cases. I didn't sleeve these ones because I didn't have enough sleeves, and these ones are more like concept cards. So when I get more sleeves, I'll sleeve those. And then we have Hello Future. No, yes, Hello Future. <laughs> so I have these. I'm trying to figure out how I want to organize the album cards. And then I have Jono's sets. So um, I think I'll do the album cards and then these separate. agent cards and then I have Jeno's Kinos. I don't have Jamin's for these. I don't know if I'm gonna get Jamin's for these. We'll see but for now I'm just have Jeno's. Okay there we go. And then I have glitch mode. I feel like there's another card for oh okay these two 
I'm gonna grab one more card in a second, but for now, I'm gonna do these, these, and then these. Okay, so I'm gonna do the tissue pack ones up here. And these ones. And then these. I'm going to put something down here. Oh, wait. Let me grab those real quick, actually. So I have their pre order cards that I'm going to see if I can put in here as well. Um, I think maybe I'll just do this set because it matches. And I think I'm going to actually switch this one. I'm just being picky. <laughs> so I kind of want this one to be the starter page for some reason. Okay. And then I have these. I'm not going to sleeve these either just yet because I don't have sleeves. And I might eventually take these out depending are a little thick but for now they'll stay and then we have beatbox so these are their digipack cards and then lastly oh wait I put these in the wrong ones. Oops. Okay. Nice. Okay. And then I have these. I don't have both of their other versions just yet because I only bought one set of the albums. So I still have to buy those. But I pulled this dream in and then I traded for that Jeno. So I'm just missing their two other album cards. And then those will go there and fit perfectly. All right, so that is it. Oh my gosh, and I still have all of these pages, which is really nice. Okay, so this is what it looks like with the cards all in it. And then I do like, but with the strap, is that I feel like it'll be closed a lot easier. But even if it's open like this, it's not too bad. But, oh, I'm so excited. I'm really excited to also decorate it as well. So let's do a flip through. This is so exciting. So we have the beginning of their collection. And I like how the cards fit really nicely together. And I really like the sleeves a lot as well. Like they look so pretty. I still have to put a thing here, but I'm getting that card soon. So I'm only missing, I think, Jamin's crew card for the older cards now. The hot sauce cards are still some of my favorites. And then we go into Hello Future. And then I just have Geno's. Like I said, I don't know if I'll get Jamin's. We'll see. Um, it's not a priority for me. And I really like the layout with it just being Geno. If I ever did, I probably will put the Kinos here and then do the same thing that I did for Purple Kiss and like put these on the backs or something like that. And then we have... Um, glitch mode so these are the album cards this is the pre-order cards just to fill up the spot and I really like how these look together actually I'm gonna probably switch it though because I don't know I think I will for now just because these are all album cards so we have glitch mode and then album card prior to benefit, the lenticulars. And then we have the start of beatbox. So these are the digi packs. And then I just need these last two cards. And then I have these pages still. I think I'm just gonna leave a few. Um, well, that's not too bad. I could always put like their pre-order cards in here instead, but I feel like this is going to be filled up pretty quickly. Like it's still pretty thick, especially with the sleeves, but 
I like how it sits and I feel like I still have quite a bit of room left, which I like, so it's not too bad. Um, there are extra pages, which I think is also making it look a little bit thicker. So if I take those extra pages out, it looks like that. So not bad at all. I'm so happy. This looks so cute. Okay, so I do have these Polaroids from Hello Future. I want to see if they fit in here or how nicely they'll fit in the two pocket ones. Again, these are also from Mochi Things. I think you get 10 per packet. But I'm just going to need maybe one for now. So I'll probably put it at the end. So let's see if they fit. Oh, they do. They actually fit really nicely. Okay, so I might do front and back for these then. So I'll put these ones and then these on the back. Ooh, maybe. They might slide around a little bit. Okay, there we go. Those actually fit, but I feel like they're gonna fly out of here. So I just have to be gentle with them. But I do like them in here. So maybe I'll keep them in here. So just have those at the end. Cause I really like these pictures, a lot of them. I think they're really cute. So I do wanna keep them. I also have ooh, these, but same thing as Purple Kiss. I don't think these are gonna fit anywhere. So I'll probably keep these in the other binder, but yeah. If these falling out bother me, I'll probably just take them out and put them in my NCT binder, but because these are definitely going to fall out, I feel like, but it's fine. I think it looks super cute. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this binder. So that is it for this one. And then lastly, I'm going to just rearrange my OT7 sets and now because now they're OT5. Okay, so this is my big NCT binder. I'm so happy that I have a lot more room in here, but we're just gonna go to the Dreamies section. I'm very excited for 127's comeback. Okay, so here we go. And then I do have all of these that I have to change. So I'm just going to put them in like this and then I will rearrange them. So this one had a rip in it, so I have to change these out. But I'm gonna be doing the five pattern for these. I do have marks, I have to get that in a second. Okay, so these are what the full set ones look like for these ones without Jono and Jamin. Let me get this extra mark card real quick and then we'll be all set. This one for Mark. I did trade for the other card, but I do think it got lost in the mail. So that's unfortunate, but that's the only card I needed for the full sets so Ooh. okay so there we have that one and then like I said just missing that one but I don't know if it'll show up I'll probably have to buy it but that's okay 
so yeah that is it for all of these collections i'm really happy that i was able to get these binders i think they're so cute and then now i have like these which is nice my dream collection in here is a lot smaller and then i have a lot more room for this binder to also grow so that's nice because they have so many units and i keep them all in this one binder but now i do not so let me get the other mini binders back and then we can end the video so that was it for my video i'm so excited to have these a5 binders i think they're going to be so helpful with my collection and i think they are so cute i definitely want to buy a few more because for my collections that are not ults and top top groups i want to sort of condense a little bit and i feel like having a4 binders will make it a lot easier because i tend to want to like keep everything and like if i collect i want to collect every single card because i'm a perfectionist especially with like collections and stuff but i really want to be easier on not trying to like force myself to get everything if I don't want to so I think having an A5 binder will definitely help with that especially for those collections that I want to keep a few cards and not collect everything for so I definitely want to buy at least a few more of these ones and maybe one more of these just because these ones are a little bit more expensive or maybe look for another type of binder I really like these so far but I feel like these are gonna fill up a little bit quickly so I might have to look for another a5 binder but i do really like the beyond d ones a lot and then these ones have been good so far as well so really excited to have these in my collection i think it's going to definitely make space in some of my bigger binders so i sort of need to sit down and sort of look at my collection and figure out what i want to condense i've already started condensing some groups a little bit and i rearranged some of my binders so i definitely will do my binder updated video soon probably when i get back from kcon because i'm going to kcon this weekend i definitely want to use more of these and just enjoy my collection i think these would definitely help so if you have any a5 binder recommendations please let me know in the comments below i also will link everything that i used and where i got my binders from in the description box as well so definitely make sure to check that out but as always thank you guys so much for watching bye